Okay, guys, don't forget, entries for our Searching for Myself writing competition are to be placed here. If you could all spread the word, that'd be fabby dabby do. Fabby dabby dick. Can I have your attention, please, ladies? Get down, get down. I've just received a phone call from Louise Kerr's mother, and it's not looking great. Oh, God, I just can't believe it. It's unlikely she'll be returning to school before the end of the year, so I think the only thing we can do now is... Pray for her. No, what use would that do? No, I think the best thing we can do is decide who will fulfil the role of editor now. Sister Michael, some of us have actually already discussed this eventuality. And the thing is, well, nobody's comfortable stepping into Louise's shoes. Right, well, fair enough. If nobody's willing to take her place... I'll do it. Excuse me? Look, Gears, I know Louise meant a lot to you all. She's not dead, Erin. Well, not yet. And hopefully she won't, you know, die. But if she does... The show must go on. That's not that right, Sister Michael? You terrify me. You can't be the editor. You've never even written an article, Erin. That's because I can't get anything past Rupert Murdoch over there. This isn't fair. You can't let it happen, Sister. I know. But I'm bored now, so it looks like I probably will. Good luck, all. Let's just run through some of our favourite ideas. So, firstly, animals. Animals. Can someone elaborate? Yeah. So, this concept would focus on... Animals, alongside pictures of famous people who look a bit like animals. Michelle Pfeiffer looks like a cat. Exactly. OK, right. Uh, what's the next one? Shoes of the... Shoes of the world. And that involves... So this piece would concentrate on different shoes from around the world, sitting alongside pictures of, you know, different shoes from around the world. OK. So like how you, in Russia they wear boots because... It's Baltic. And in India they wear sandals because... It's boiling. I'm not totally convinced by either of them, if I'm honest. Oh, my God. They're absolutely shit. Why can we print this utter shit? OK, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic, James. Shoes of the world. What does that even mean? Yeah, we're fucked. No, it's OK. It's going to be OK. We... We just need to change our approach slightly. The writing competition. Exactly. There's bound to be something in here we can steal. We can just steal something and we'll just, we'll just steal someone's idea and we'll just pass it off as our own. Journalistic integrity at its finest. Searching for myself. What a load of balls. Oh, my God. Let's see. Suffocation, the secret life of a gay teenager. <laughs> it's anonymous. It wasn't me. No. This was written by a gear. A real-life lesbian walks among us. I don't really believe in lesbians. This is perfect. We'll just print this. Come on, Erin, you can't do that. Why not? We'll get in trouble, real trouble, big trouble. You're not afraid of a bit of controversy, are you? Yes. Actually, yes, I am. Something like this could go on our permanent record, Erin. And what's more important, Claire? Your permanent record or... telling this poor gear story? My permanent record. Count me out. Fine. Well, this issue of the habit will go down in history. In history, I say! You seriously need to chill the fuck out. Hi. Oh, it's crawled out from under its rock, has it? You should be ashamed of yourself. I know. I'm sorry. It all just made me a bit nervous. Everything makes you nervous, Claire. You're a walking cack attack. I can't help that. It's the way God made me. Michelle's running around saying it's her, that she wrote the story, that she's a wee lesbian. That's a flick. Be more chance of it being you. It is me. No, I mean, I'd be less surprised if it was you. It is. No, it's not. But if it was... Erin! It's me. I'm the wee lesbian. 